You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a video today talking about Watch Mojo and why they are saying lies about Team Fortress 2. Now, as many of you know who have watched my channel for any decent length of time, I have a special place in my heart for Team Fortress 2. It's one of the first games, in fact it is the first game I've ever played on my channel. I've made more content about that game than probably anything else, and I love it. And I plan to go back to it and continue making content about it one day. But Watch Mojo recently made a video called the Top 20 Most Toxic Video Game Communities Ever. Now, I don't really care for Watch Mojo. I don't really care for their somewhat generic list style content. I made a parody video based off of them one time. There's other channels I've seen who do the same content, but do it far better with a lot more personality, like What Culture Gaming, for example. But Watch Mojo is somewhat out of touch. And I think you're going to see that in today's video because I'm going to go over a little clip from their video where they said Team Fortress 2 was one of the most toxic video game communities ever. Okay, so even this I have a problem with. Is there toxicity in Team Fortress 2? Absolutely. And it is downright awful sometimes. There exists toxicity in most PvP games, especially first-person shooters. But listen to their reasons for a moment. And you'll see. Let's watch this together. Number 15, Team Fortress 2. While many players of Team Fortress 2 are perfectly fine, there is a small vocal minority that makes the game unbearable for everyone, but especially for new players. The game seems to draw a lot of elitist gamers who believe that they are better than everyone. Okay, that's not Team Fortress 2. That's literally every game ever. Everybody likes to act like they're good and they know what they're doing. And a lot of people usually have the skills to back it up. And when they don't, then you can just mock them and make fun of them. It's funny. And that's in every game. It's not just first-person shooters either. It's really just about anything that has a PvP community. Heck, it could be multiplayer real-time strategy games. Everybody likes to brag about how good they are, and they think they're so amazing and they got all these skills. That's not exclusive to Team Fortress 2. And for that matter, I personally really haven't seen that in Team Fortress 2 as much as some other games. And being vote kicked for playing poorly or playing as the wrong character is not uncommon. That isn't uncommon? I have played Team Fortress 2 for four years, and I honestly cannot remember the last time I saw somebody either getting kicked for not playing the right class or for playing poorly. Why, are you talking about low skill here? Never seen it. Never seen it. The only time, okay, hold up. The only time I could think of somebody being kicked for playing the wrong class, quote unquote, was like when somebody in the lobby is like, hey, let's all go scout. And then somebody else is not going to scout. He's like, you're not going scout. Switch or we'll kick you. And honestly, I haven't even seen that in years. So usually if everybody's like, oh, let's all go scout. And then a couple guys don't, they just ignore them. So we, you, and you're acting, you're acting like this is uncommon. You're acting like this is a regularly recurring thing. I can't think of anything, any time where this happened. People watching my video, if you play Team Fortress 2, which I know a lot of you do, I know a lot of my audience comes from Team Fortress 2, let me know. Let me know. Has this happened to you or anybody you know recently? Have you been kicked for playing the wrong class? Because I certainly haven't, and I don't know anybody who has. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I'm most likely not as out of touch as Watch Mojo. If I am, then I'll probably just delete my own channel. I am not even joking. This, on top of the constant whining about minis on Hightower, despite it being a perfectly legal and legit form of playing. Okay, this one's actually a fair point. People that complain about minis on Hightower are really pathetic. Okay, the Hightower community is definitely toxic. And so is the Two Fork community. Friendlies, no cappers, people who whine and complain act entitled to a different play style, and they're always talking about, the majority says, and unanimously agrees, even though none of that actually is related at all. Trying to say that since there's this vocal minority of people who have gathered together in a few maps to try to take it over and enforce this play style by going against Valve's own design to try to force other people in a pub lobby to do what they think is right, yeah, that's, that's toxic. I'll give you that watch, Mojo. You're right about that one. 
You're right about that one. I'll give you the minis on Hightower. And the incessant complaining about bad or inexperienced teammates. If you've never played this game but have always wanted to check it out, we recommend that you mute your chat for the first few months. Okay, here is why you were wrong. Most people don't complain about inexperienced players. There's the running gag about free-to-plays and crap, but usually it's just all made in good fun. In all honesty, a lot of people in the Team Fortress 2 community are very welcoming. Alright, when I started streaming the game, I wasn't new, but I had only been playing for maybe about a year when I started streaming. Everybody was so nice to me. People gave me items. People were friends with me and wanted to play. I made some great friends playing Team Fortress 2, and that was even before I became a YouTuber. If you're actually a new player and you let people know that, most of them are usually saying something to the effect of, hey, welcome to Team Fortress 2, that's awesome. Some people will even add you to play with you. They'll give you tips. They'll give you weapons since you start off with not very many items. There are so very many nice people in this game. Now, yeah, there's the occasional person who's toxic, okay, and it's more prevalent on maps like Hightower or 2 Fort and stuff like that, but... People don't just go around kicking you for playing the wrong class or call you names because you're new. That doesn't happen. It really, really doesn't. And there are so many other games that you listed in this video, like Counter-Strike, for example, where some of these issues that you're talking about, not, not being kicked for class since that isn't a, there's no classes in Counter-Strike, but being troll kicked in general and just given a hard time and people being nasty to you in chat, that's a real issue in a lot of games, and Team Fortress 2 is really just not one of them. I mean, other than the kicking for capping, whining about many centuries, entitled friendlies, Team Fortress 2 is pretty awesome. There's a few sub-communities that are pretty terrible. But other than them, you have a lot of awesome people who play this game. And even some of those guys aren't awful, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, I despise friendlies and no caps are the best of them. But sometimes they won't go as far as, like, kicking you or whining when you kill them or whatever. They just kind of do their own thing and they leave you alone. And I still don't think they should do that. I mean, that's still kind of trolling if you're doing it in a public casual lobby. Hey, I'm going to be friendly when you're hurting your team. Well, don't cap. Well, you're just you're, you're abusing the game's mechanics. But, you know, the people, that's different than the people who actually try to kick you for not doing what they want you to do. And, again... Team Fortress 2 has some awesome people in it. And I know because I've made many friends with them. I've had a lot of them talk to me when I've been streaming TF2. So many of them have given me so many gifts. Somebody just gave me a bunch of cases from TF2 earlier tonight and a hat. Just just because he's an awesome guy. There's a lot of people like that. And honestly, Watch Mojo, I think that you are just really, really out of touch. I doubt most of you have even played much TF2. You know, your, your channel's not really about gameplay. It's about top 10 list in pop culture. You probably just googled issues with TF2 community and read something about minis on Hightower and stuff and then put that in your video. You're out of touch and this is not a community you want to mess with. You shouldn't be going and saying stuff like that and you've earned a dislike from me. And honestly your like to dislike ratio isn't all that great. It's at 20% which not very good for you. A good dislike like to dislike ratio is like 90 10. You're at 80 20. Not good, Watch Mojo. Not good. But anyway, guys, I wanted to cover this because I thought it was a good point. And yeah, this is a shame. This was clearly made by people who are out of touch. And what I hate about it is videos like this have a potential to damage a game's community because it drives people away. There might be people out there who want to get into TF2 or want to try it after all these years. And believe me, there's always new people. Or there's people who maybe played it and thought about coming back to it, but are like, oh, it's gotten toxic now. I don't want to play it again. Videos like this damage game communities like TF2. And they're just really just a sham to get views. That's all they are. And that's coming from a YouTuber who has made videos just to get views before. Okay, some might even say this video is just something to get views. I mean, it's not just for views, but that's part of it. But this, this is just wrong. And I really don't support this at all. I think this is bad. So, yeah, want to make a video talking about this. I wanted to clear this stuff up. Watch Mojo was wrong. The TF2 community is awesome. And shame on them for putting this in their video. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your input. Let me know if you think 
TF2 is toxic. Let me know what you think is toxic about it. Maybe you think I'm toxic. Let me know that. I'd love to hear it as well. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. If you disliked, leave a like, dislike. Um, if you want to click off, now's your chance. I'm going to go into a little personal life update, but then I'll end the video so you can leave if you're not interested in that. But if you're interested in my channel, I want to let you guys know this will be my last video um, for about a week because I'm about to move. So, yeah, I'll be gone. I won't even have very much access to the internet on my computer. I won't even have my computer set up. I'll still be on my phone. I'll be active in my Discord, and I'll post like a community uh, update and let you guys know what's going on, but I'm going to be gone for a little bit, so I won't have be making videos and stuff, but a week later, I should be back, and I should be doubling down on YouTube and really getting some stuff done, and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to getting into YouTube full-time again and making awesome, awesome content for you guys and watching the channel grow. It's going to be stinking awesome. But yeah, guys, want to let you know, thank you so very much for your continued support, and until next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming. And I will see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, I, I,